Okay, the final experiment is coming at you with another geography lesson today. I went hard against the Globers for not understanding flat earth geography. And today I'm gonna have to go at the flat earthers for not understanding globe earth geography. We've been getting a lot of comments and emails from flat earthers stating that we are not going to be able to prove that we are actually in Antarctica this December. Now, I think this is coming from just a lack of understanding of geography. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, I should also mention that these comments and emails are accusatory. They're not inquisitive. They're not, hey, Will, how do you know you're actually going to be in Antarctica? Or, hey, Will, will you be able to show us uh, how you know that you're in Antarctica? They're comments like this. You have no way of, of knowing you're actually in Antarctica, or you're not going to be able to prove to anyone that you are actually in Antarctica. I just find that very interesting. I want the final experiment to be something that both sides are excited about, that both sides want to participate in, and most importantly, that both sides will help make the make it the best experiment ever done on the shape of the Earth debate. So let's go ahead and look at a map. I chose Google Maps. You can honestly use any map that you want. And we are going to start by looking at Punta Arenas, Chile. Why Punta Arenas, Chile? Because this is where the trip will begin. Everybody who's going to be going to Antarctica with us, Dave McKeegan, hopefully Jaren, hopefully Austin Witsit, hopefully Globy McGlobeface, and anybody else that wants to come or crowdfund to come, we are all going to fly from wherever we live to here, Punta Arenas, Chile. And this is where the trip will begin. So we are going to be at the southern tip of South America. Now, from here, let's go ahead and remove all these words here on the screen. And so we can kind of get a feel for where we are at. Uh, you can see a lot of the earth here. You can see New Zealand over here. You can see Africa. You can see Madagascar. And then this star here is Punta Arenas, Chile, which is where we are going to begin. Now, we are going to be taking a flight from Punta Arenas that's about a four and a half hour flight in order to get to Antarctica. So my challenge for anybody that is wondering how we know we'll, we will be in Antarctica or how we can prove that we are flying to Antarctica is to explain to me where we can get to on a four and a half hour flight from Punta Arenas. If we go to the west, uh, we wouldn't even make it halfway to New Zealand. Uh, a flight from Chile to New Zealand is over 10 hours. Uh, if we go east, uh, we wouldn't make it to Africa. Uh, so where could we go? We could go north, but if we go north, we're headed to the equator and we're headed to places that are very, very, very hot. Keep in mind, when we get to Antarctica, we're going to be landing on an ice runway. And when we look out the window of the plane, we're just going to see snow and ice and solid white in all directions. By the way, this star here at the bottom of the map that you see right above Google there, that is Union Glacier, and that is where we are headed. So our four and a half hour flight is going to go due south from Punta Arenas, Chile, all the way to Union Glacier. And I would argue that there's nowhere we can go from the tip, the southern tip of South America and get anywhere in four and a half hours that's solid ice other than Antarctica. Now, you can even do this on a flat earth map. You can do this on an AE map, which I've done here. There's the red line. That is our flight. That is our flight from the southern tip of South America south, which is on the flat earth model, away from the North Pole. Uh, into Antarctica. As you can see, there is nowhere else we can go other than Antarctica that would be covered with snow and ice. I suspect I'm going to get at least some people trying to argue that we are going to be flying to Greenland, uh, which is here in the center of this map, uh, instead of Antarctica. You can obviously see the problems there. How are we going to get there in uh, four and a half hours and on your model, the flat earth model, and the globe model, 
uh, that is when there is darkness in that part of the earth at the North Pole, because we are going to be uh, in the south during the southern summer, which is the northern winter. And so if where we go is just constant daylight, uh, that wouldn't work either. So anyway, I hope this geography lesson helped everybody. Again, this is all within the spirit of making sure everybody understands the final experiment. And it's in the spirit of making sure everything is transparent. We're all in agreement of head of, ahead of time. And we're all trying to collaborate and work together to make this experiment the best experiment ever and to make sure that everybody is happy with what we're doing and comes up with ideas to help solve potential problems before we go. All right, I should have some big updates for you next week. So stay tuned. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.